Welcome everyone back to Diane. It's the Lie Recipe Cookie Made Easy. Today we are going to make cheesecake bars out of very simple ingredients. Thank you so much for coming back to my kitchen to join me. Now we're going to go over the ingredients that are needed to make this recipe. The ingredients that you're going to need for the recipe are two eight ounces of the Philadelphia cream cheese, you will also need one egg, two packages of the Crescent Rolls. Of course, you can always use a different brand. I chose Pillsbury Dough. You will also need one and one half teaspoon of vanilla extract. You will also need a little bit of butter to sprinkle on. And then you'll need two teaspoons of cinnamon. The tools you will need for the recipe, one spatula, a teaspoon, a mixing bowl, a nine by 18 cooking dish, and I chose nonstick. You will also need a mixer, and then the non-stick cooking spray. So now let's get started. We spray our nine by 13 um, non-stick cooking pan. This crescent roll here laid out on this, this flat surface here. What we're gonna do is close up these, pinch in these, these little seams here to make sure that once we put our filling on there that it will not seep out. So that's all I'm gonna do is just pinch because I'm just closing up the dough before I put it inside the cooking pan. From there, all you're gonna do is move your dough into this pan. And as you may see, some of the holes open back up so we can just go ahead and close them back. And this time I'm just patting and um, smushing them together. Now we're gonna measure out one and a half teaspoons a vanilla to place in here. And that's one and like a half, one egg, and then we'll need our one cup of sugar that goes inside the actual mix. I should also mention that you should already have your oven preheated to 350 degrees. Your, your two eight ounces of cream cheese should already have been at room temperature. I have left mine out already for maybe about two hours to make sure that it was soft. That way our mixture can get a, have a smooth consistency. Now from here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and start mixing the sugar, the eggs, the vanilla, and the, um, the cream cheese, the two boxes of cream cheese. We'll go ahead and do that now. And then I still like to go ahead and get all the mixture from off the side of the bowl and the bottom to make sure everything is incorporated. And now what you're gonna do, now that we have the mixture all mixed in, you're gonna go ahead and pour the mixture inside of this pan and smooth it out. And I'll show you what that looks like. And as you can see, it's a very simple and easy recipe that anyone can do. You're not making your own dough, you're buying it from the store already pre-made. So it should be really simple for really any at-home baker to be able to do. Something fun that you can do quickly with the children. Then from there, all we're gonna do is mix it from corner to corner. And now what we're gonna do is place our second dough on top of the cheese mixture. Now here's four tablespoons of melted butter. How do I know that it's four tablespoons? If you've ever had butter, you may not have noticed it has these little ticks here. Each tick is a tablespoon. So one, two, three, four, that's four tablespoons of butter. 
this whole stick is a half a cup of butter. So that's how you know how much butter that you need. Now you just pour the butter on top, the melted butter rather. You just microwave it until it's completely um, melted. And then from there, all you're gonna do is spread it out to make sure that it's even all around on all of the dough to make sure that all of the dough actually gets some of this butter on it. The reason why they are asking, calling for butter in this recipe is to ensure that when we put on the um, cinnamon and sugar, that it will lay and adhere to this dough. I've taken the liberty to go ahead and mix my cinnamon and sugar together. All this is, is two teaspoons of cinnamon and one third cup of sugar that I just mixed in this container. So now what we're gonna do is sprinkle this all over this uh, top of this butter. Now we're placing this in the oven for 35 minutes. Halfway through the 35 minute time frame, I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn it around. So I'll put it in the oven like this, and then I'll turn it around in my oven like this, the other way, just to make sure that it's getting a full cook on it. So 17 minutes or so in, I'll go ahead and turn it. After the 35 minutes time frame, you wanna go ahead and allow the dessert to cool for at least 15 minutes before you cut it. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this in my three heat, 350 degree preheated oven for a total of 35 minutes. And then after that, we'll be back to taste it and see, will it work? Be back. When it comes out the oven, this is exactly how it looks. And we're gonna allow this to cool for 15 minutes and then we will be back. All right, welcome back everyone. It's been 15 minutes of me allowing these cheesecake bars to cool. Now I'm gonna cut it and we're gonna see how it tastes. And excuse those sounds, I am meal prepping for the week, so bear with me. All right, everyone, here is the cheesecake bars. Excuse the sound in the background, I am cooking, uh, meal prepping for the week for my husband and I. So this is how it looks. Let's see how it tastes. It's my first time making this, so this is what it looks like. Have a bite. Let's see. It's a different kind of texture, this cheesecake, this mixture. It kind of tastes like a, um, like a mousse almost, but it's good. Thank you guys again for joining me at Diana's Delight, the recipe cooking made easy. I look forward to seeing you soon. Tell me what you think about this recipe, if you tried it out, if you cooked it at home, how did yours turn out? Was it a good recipe? Let me know. I liked it, but let me know what you guys think. Until the next time, thank you again for joining us. It's been great. Bye, guys.